Hey guys, Chris here. So I went down to the Army Navy store and bought an ammo can and converted it into a micro solar generator. I also used my Ames 180 watt pure sine wave inverter inside. I just got it velcroed there, but I wanted to make sure the signal was good and clean. So I checked it out this morning, hooked up the oscilloscope to it and took some readings. If you can see here, it's 332 volts peak to peak. 340 is where you want to be, but pretty good looking sine wave off that Ames inverter. And for all the holes for drilling into the side of the metal, I used a step bit. Thank you, Roy, for telling me exactly what that bit is called here. And here's, take a look at my work. I'm using dual 30 amp fuses, 30 amp fuse going into the inverter direct to the battery and then 30 amp fuse for everything else on there. It works pretty good. But what I ran into, I had two of these expert power AGM batteries in there and this one's toast. Will not handle a load worth of crap. I mean, it goes down to like eight volts. And there's my old power ad there. So I'm running one battery and I ordered a Mighty Max 35 amp hour AGM deal. There's the lid for the uh, ammo box there. I got the uh, new battery in order. It's a single battery. I'm not going to be running two batteries in there. So it's an actual solar deep cycle battery, so it should hold up. And this switch absolutely sucks. I got some new switches on order too. Won't stay lit. So just want to do a really quick video for you guys to show you my new little project here. And nothing against the power ad, but uh, I'm really liking having pure sine wave. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Let me know what you think of this new uh, ammo box micro solar generator. See you later.